going on everybody it's your boy the slab train and welcome back guys to some forza motorsport 5 and today we're gonna be doing a drifting on a budget episode guys this is the first time doing this with the wheel we have our calculator ready oh wrong damn way we got a calculator ready right now and i think our budget for today we're gonna set this to twenty thousand dollars guys it's not gonna be a lot of money so we're gonna have to work with what we do here um let's just kind of go down the line and see what we're able to pick up for twenty thousand dollars it's probably not gonna be a lot at all let's see if we can sort by price ah they're not even gonna sort by price on this so it's either gonna be probably one of the hondas um i'm not really too sure what we're gonna be able to do with this here let's see just skim through this uh, I'm seeing a lot of high third. Oh, I saw an 18. That's a Camaro. It's already at 18, though. We can't touch that. Um, what else do we got here? Not much, man. Jeez, I forgot that they actually took out a lot of the higher priced, or sorry, the lower priced cars right now. But it is 20 grand, so can't. Do oh, we can do the Prelude. It's only 14,000. Okay, leaves us with six grand to work with. Um. We even have the Kia Seed. Why the hell? What? Why the hell would I want to slide that thing? Um, what else we got here? Jeez, not a lot. Oh, 13,000 for the MX-5. We might pick that up. Let's see what else we got. So we have MX-5, that's number one. Um, Firebird, 15K. What else do we got here? 17 for the Celica, nah. 12,000 for the Torino. So, this is a toss up, guys. Either Torino, even the Golf GTI, we could do on that. That's, I don't know how much money we'd have with that. So, we're not going to touch that just because we have to do a rear wheel drive swap, which is going to be money. Going to have to probably switch up engines as well, too. So, we're not going to worry about that. So, we either have the 86 fan favorite. You guys probably are dying for me to pick that right there. Or, or, we can do, I already forgot the damn car. What the hell did I say? I picked something. Didn't I? It was like 12,000. Oh, the MX-5. Miata. And you know what? You guys are going to probably hate me for this, but I'm picking the Miata just because I don't have one of these yet. I haven't really drove one before. Um, so, I think it would be kind of fresh for this. We're, I'm looking at Mitsubishi right now. What the hell am I doing? I need Mazda. Come on, man. There we go. Took me forever to get to the damn thing. All right, so here we go. We're going to pick out our color. Doing this all with the wheel. If you guys did not know, this is the Thrustmaster TX Racing Wheel. You guys can find in the description box where to pick this thing up. Xbox One exclusive wheel. Also works with the PC. Mint purchase, gentlemen. Mint. So... That was $13,000. You know, we got to make it look cinematic, so we're going to take away $13,000. This is your 1994 Mazda MX-5. Seven Miata. Gs left, guys. Seven Gs. Let's make this happen. With that being said, we have some work that needs... Oh, we can use the wheel for this? Okay. Let's flip those headlights up, though. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Ah, yeah, there we go. How come they won't leave those headlights flipped on, man? It pisses me off right there. All right, car looks mint. Let's go. Okay. No, I wanted the Forza Vista once again. I'm so sorry, John. So sorry. All right, upgrades. Um, we we got to throw on some rims, you know, a body kit, all this good stuff. I'm just fucking with you. I swear to God, we ain't doing that. We're going to leave the tires the way that they are. We are going to try and pick up a suspension kit right away. Uh, $2,000, but uh, I don't know if we're going to need that a lot. Uh, God, we only have 100 You know what? We're going to chance this. We're going to go negative $2,050. Leaves us with $49.50 right there, guys. Whoo! We picked it up. It's done. In. Um... Trying to think of what else we could do. Weight reduction is going to be huge. That's another $2,350 right there. That leaves us with $2,600. We still got some room. And I may pick up 
something crazy for the engine just because it's going to need something crazy. 47 extra horsepower on that, but what does... I'm wondering what the turbo will do for this thing. Um, no, we don't... No, I don't want that. Thank you. Okay, what about even an engine swap? I wonder what the first... Oh, my God. You think that'd be going over budget a little bit? Be just as bad as the Sochi games right there, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so, aspiration, what can we do? Oh, okay. But if we do that, though, it's not going to leave us any money to do anything. So, the power band doesn't really move up too much. It goes up slight, but not enough for me to really justify getting that, to be honest with you. So, we're not going to pick that up, but instead, we're going to go high with camshafts on this. It's going to increase pretty much everything. It's going to give us 47 extra horsepower right there. Oh my god, we can't even do that. Damn. All that we can do is stock cams. You know what? We're going to the turbo. We got to do it, man. We got no damn choice. 2600 bucks. We're going to put the single jingle turbo in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? $1,800 going down the tubes. Leaves us with $800 left, gentlemen. $800 here is left to spend. Let's make this happen. Oh, the diff. We didn't weld the diff. Oh, oh my God. We don't even got enough money for the diff. Um, What about the training? Do I got anything for the training? Oh, we can do street training. Okay. Um, Damn, what do I want to do with this? I do not know right now. I am in... Little bit of a pickle if they you know, you know that's, that's, that's what they say Six horsepower is it really worth it? <sighs> yes, it is guys seven hundred dollars going down Leaves us with one hundred dollars and yes, I did the damn calculations on my calculator I like to be accurate. You know what I'm saying guys. Oh, we could have had an extra flywheel on that bitch. I think that's going to be it for the modifications on this. I don't think it's going to even allow us to touch anything else for 100 bucks, Unless we get a cheap stock clutch. Nope. Alright. So that is it. Tune time though. Tune time. You know what I'm saying? It's like tool time, but it's tune time. So. Let's see what the hell I want to do with this thing. We're going to... Oh, okay, okay. I can't do that with this. Um... We're going to up this tire pressure big time just because I feel like that's going to really help me out a lot. We could not do anything with the gears. We got camber though, guys, and we're going to need a hell of a lot of it to make this thing go. Um, a little bit of caster on there. We're going to... Uh, we all oh, we can't even loosen them. Oh, we can do the springs though. We're good with the springs. We're going to loosen this bitch right up. We want the, the, like, the whole car to be really loose. We don't have a lot of horsepower on this. So it's really going to come down to, you know, weight transfer um, and being able to really, you know, hold the car. Hopefully, that, that's my plan. I doubt that this thing is going to hold much, if any. Um, I just, I don't see it happening. And I think that I should have dumped all my marbles into, um, I, I think I should have dumped it all into horsepower right away and not really cared about the suspension. But I can already see the comments coming, guys. Just, you know, oh my god, no, how come you ain't running with the suspension? You know what I'm saying? You guys know exactly what the hell I'm talking about, too. You know it. Don't even give me that shit. course on this we're gonna give it a little test drive see how we do um i think we're gonna do okay to be honest with you um you know obviously this thing it, it's very low horsepower that's why i wanted to take it to the test track just to kind of see what it's going to be like in you know multiple terrains multiple areas being able to you know really do kind of 
um, everywhere. And just to make sure that this is synced up still, we're going to give it off with a three, two, one, go. Oh, I can already feel the horsepower right there, guys. Ooh, look at this thing go, though. There we go. Oh, we need some damn low gears on this thing. Oh, my God. This thing's probably going to be good for, like, one corner, and that's about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Now, I cannot forget to use my first gear, but this is really tough just because of the fact that I do not have... Oh, my God, my steering doesn't even like this thing. It's tough because I don't have... Um, oh! We saved that bitch from getting... Oh, my goodness. Alright. So, we're going to just try and heat these tires up just a little bit. And... I think what I'm going to do on this, we're going to max completely out the camber. We're going to go really high tire pressure. I don't want any of the rubber on the damn road whatsoever. We're going to try and just go extreme with this. So we're going to go with a 5 negative front and a 5 negative rear. And we're going to go with a full toe out and full cast. Now, I mean, like I said, this is very extreme setup on this. But you got to understand, we're trying to keep as much tires off the damn road so that we can slide this thing and this is not your average yacht you know what I'm saying there we go we're getting some sliding you kind of see the wheels starting to give a little bit of notion back saying that I'm I'm here you know what I'm saying but that's what I wanted though I wanted to be able to get I wanted to be able to get this ass to kind of swing out and that's what I think I've accomplished with this we're drifting this right now doing 46 miles an hour. So, personally, I think that's great for this car. Obviously, this car is um, very, very hindered by horsepower. Hold on real quick, though. But yeah, this car obviously is, you know, it's a lot different than your average drift car would be. Woo! Alright. But... Oh, we just nicked it though. Let's see how it does on these little tubes. Oh my god. Hey, a fire extinguisher. Appreciate it. Let's try going around this thing right here. I'm trying, anyways. That's, that's the key damn word on this. Let's go into cockpit view for this here. Come on, Big Bertha. This girl does not want it. Can't get this thing to kick out. Here we go. Just have to start it wide and then keep it going. Oh my god, the wheel doesn't even want to turn with this thing. That's how bad this car is right now. We really needed a little bit extra horsepower in this thing. I don't give a shit what you guys say in the comments saying that. Oh my god, you don't need the horsepower to drift. Yes, I do, man. I'm all about that horsepower. I love it. Give it a little gas kick. Oh, the door looked like it was going to close on me right there. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, here we go. We're feeling this thing right now. I'm liking it. Oh, that's why I need that damn shifter, man. Shifted it right into damn third gear. Not a fan right there. go back around where we just came from. Actually, you know what? Let's hit, let's hit over here. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else I can do to this thing. Just to kind of, you know, give it maybe that little extra push um, to go. And we're going to soften the hell out of these springs. I feel like once we soften it, it's really going to be able to let it loose. Um, again, that's just a theory that I'm having right now. But like I said, we got to go drastic with this car just because of the fact that this thing is... It's, it's not even pushing 200 horsepower. So, also, too, it's really tough just because the fact that we don't have a 100-100 diff on here. Um, and I feel that this car would be a hell of a lot better if we did put in the diff, but I did forget. But we're going to try and run this. We're going to man up with this setup, at least. And then if we need to possibly go back just to see how it would work 
actually run with the diff, we will do that. Again, we're in the damn fourth gear. Did not mean to do that. Alright. Let's see what happens with this thing. Holding that nice. Woo! If I can link this! Ah, oh, we just stalled it. It's so damn shit. Alright, gonna get a little bit of speed with this. Let the rear end kick out. There we go. There we go, gentlemen. Do this thing. Just needs to get going. Just needs that little push. But I do think, though, that having, you know, just everything loose really did help us out. We're able to just kind of keep it going. But I'd like to know, you know, how this thing would do with the differential. So I think what I'm going to do, though, is I think I'm happy with this now. You know, I'm really happy with the way that this car has come out. Um, I'd like to go back and put in the differential in there and just really see how this thing would really hold. We're going to do a quick little high-speed entry right before we do this here. We're going to kill this shit. Here we go. This is terrible. Terrible, man. I'm fucking man. Don't. Hold on. Going back in. Don't even start, gentlemen. I don't want to hear shit about that. You know what I'm We're going to throw on this differential. We're going to take it out of the extra funds money. You know, We, we had some last... Probably out of the episodes that I've done on drifting on a budget, we've got some extra change somewhere. I'm gonna take it out of that damn funding, and we're gonna buy ourselves a differential. I don't give a shit, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, okay, my bad. So what we're gonna do? Yes, I would like to save that. Thank you. We're gonna put this diff on right now. We're gonna see how much this differential actually does help out um, the ability to drift. We gotta hit this real quick. There, go. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Put this at 100, 100 diff. That's going to make both tires spin equally on this. And we're going to go back to the test track. And we're going to test our luck on the test track. You know what I'm saying? It's a jump, man. Come on now. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you do, make sure you guys slap that like button. It's always appreciated. And let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you would like to see for next episode regarding car and price. Just let me know, guys. And track, too, actually. I like to know the track. And uh, I may end up... You know, going into random lobbies and doing uh, actual drifting with them. Doing, like, maybe a public lobby with this car. Or just with the builds that I do. Here we go. Feels like it already has a little bit more power to this thing already. Oh, yeah. This thing's going to slide nice, guys. The diff means everything. I cannot believe that I forgot that. Look at this puppy go now. Oh, damn it. <laughs> My bad. Let it go, let it go. Oh, damn. I thought I was going to hit that. Actually, I meant like hit it as in like clear kind of thing, you know? Alright, we're going to try and wrap this around here. We pull that. Oh, that hurt me, man. We cannot be running with a shit. Oh, what? Take a photo of the damn thing? That's greasy right there, though. Well, I didn't want... That makes me feel bad right there. We're going to do just a couple more runs. We're going to call it a night on this. But I'd like to know your thoughts. Um, definitely, I mean, this has definitely taught me a lesson. Never forget the differential in a car. But I felt like we really did work well with what we had. Um, obviously, first car only... Or I mean, sorry, not the first car. But these cars have just under you know, 200 horsepower. So... Obviously, it is a little bit of a tougher build to do, nonetheless. I'm gonna try. Shit, man! What the hell's the matter with me right now? I'd say edit it out, but you know we in the middle of a live comm session. That's some bullshit. I was gonna say if I hit that, I'm retiring from Forza. I right, real. Let's try and do a little lap around this big ass plane right here. Still don't have enough uh, speed on there, even with the diff lock on there. Transition that. Beauty, beauty. Hit that door, though. Oh, fuck. We actually hit the shit out of that thing. Gentlemen, I'm done. I'm calling it quits, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys slap that like button. As always, I appreciate you guys coming by today. 
If you guys aren't spinning out when you're drifting, you're not trying hard enough. Jabuta Slab Train, I'm out. Peace.